This was when I worked for the Cheneys. That was an Easter Sunday. And right. it was President Mrs. Reagan and Margaret Thatcher. This picture that President Bush took of my husband and I in the Lincoln bedroom. <laughs> I love that. Let's talk about steak dinners specifically. Mm -hmm. Steak dinners are a big deal. Oh, you? yes. Is it a surprise at all to you that it's taken a year and a half for Trump to have his first state dinner? Not really. I mean, it often takes a while for people to get their feet under them and feel confident enough to do it because it is a big process. It takes several months. It begins with a meeting of the two delegations to sort of hash out the details of the day. There's the whole creation of the guest list, which is a big production in itself. Colors are important. The calligraphy is important. The list of how to do things for that one day was like notebook this thick, single space. There are decades and decades of tradition. They'll roll up to the North Portico, they'll be greeted, there's an honor guard, the finest of American food and entertainment and hospitality. Everyone is in their seats by the time uh, the two presidents and their wives arrive. Is there a circumstance where things didn't go well? I think everybody has had those at some point. There's a great story from the Johnson years of Bess Abel, his social secretary, waiting outside as he, they were just beginning a lunch, a state luncheon for the king and queen of Greece. She heard everyone stand up and yell, stop, everybody put your forks down, get Bess in here. And she walked in and he looked at her and said, there's something wrong with this food, the meat smells bad. And she said, Mr. President, our entree today is Tornado's Rossini and what you smell is foie gras, it's the liver, it's not bad. And he just looked at everyone and said, it's okay, you can eat. And sat down and pretended as if nothing had ever happened. What's at stake? Well, I think a lot is at stake, particularly for Mrs. Trump, because she has clearly made this her event. Yeah. Clearly she's interested in it, she likes it. Not all First Ladies love doing this, but she's in the details and that's great. The only wild card really about this dinner is what he might say or do, because everything about the way he operates has the potential to be like a bad tweet. <laughs>